Hey everybody, Marion Smith here. I'm super excited to share with you guys um, that second planner that I promised I was going to be showing you guys. This is the Posh Printable Planner. Um, so, it, sorry, I've got a really bad cold, so I know I sound all nasally and funky, but, um, or not a cold, but a sinus infection, same thing, I guess. Uh, so, this is the Posh Printable Planner, and it goes with our Posh Paper Lines. If you've seen our Posh Paper Line, then you already know it's really clean and trendy um, and girly, too. So, I'm going to show you, show you the planner that I put together so far, and I used um, some planner page protectors that we're coming out with in March. So there are these plastic sheets that you could slip your papers in, and then I used my Stampin' Up! Punch, and I punched some tabs there. So this is the first page. It's a plain pattern. This kit comes with a bunch of plain patterns, just like the Gypsy Planner that we released um, a couple weeks ago. So you'll have some papers that you can scrapbook with or make like a mini album inside your planner if you wanted to. And then this is the calendar page and it's all customizable as usual. So you would write the month down and then the dates. Oh, that one tab wasn't glued down all the way. Um, so obviously I haven't printed everything that goes in the, that's in the kit yet. Um, normally you'd print 12 of these out. So I haven't done that quite yet. And the, this is a Monday start calendar. If you guys think you want a Sunday start, let me know in the comments and I'll work on it because I've been um, taking you know comments lately and been making printables according to what you guys want. Um, I personally prefer a Sunday start, but I know the Monday start is really popular with people that are using their planners for work, so that's why I did it. Um, but I personally would prefer a Sunday start, so let me know. So normally you'd print out 12 of the calendar pages. This is the weekly or yeah, the weekly pages. Um, so for the weekly pages, you would want to print out um, uh, four per month. So I only printed out one so I could show you, and I'm actually missing the second half of January. I'm not sure where I put that thing. I'm sure I'll find it in here somewhere. It's probably mixed up. Oh, there it is. So I just printed these ones on the wrong page, it looks like, but that's okay. So this one is actually supposed to go right here, and then this one's supposed to go right here, darn it. Oh well, well this is February. February is, you know, supposed to look like that. And these are, this is a note, a custom note page, so if you want to take some notes in between your weeks, then you can. And it's customizable, so you can title it whatever you want. If it um, has to do with blogging or social media, then you could write um, whatever you're blogging about. Harley, get off the table. Gross. And then here's March and April and May. This one's June, July, August, September, my favorite one, I think, October, November, December. And then you'll go on to today. So I put another pattern paper divider. I don't know if you could tell, but this is like um, little flags with alphabets on them. Um, and then it's got that really pretty lace chevron on the back. And then this is the today page. So obviously I would normally print out 30 of these at a time. Um, or, you know, like I said earlier, if you don't use a daily page every day, then you don't need that many. And then we've got list, and I just put some um, note paper in there. So this is the checklist section, which is also customizable. So it could be a grocery checklist, it could be a to-do checklist, or a packing checklist, anything you want. Um, and it's the same kind of format as the Gypsy Journal, just different pattern and color combos. And then we've got notes back here. And then this is where all the custom pages are. So there's several custom pages that you could choose from um, that come in this kit. And you can use them for whatever I want, whatever you want, like social media, all that stuff. Um, birthday planning, wedding planning, anything. And then here's the one where you could sketch your projects out if you wanted to. Got a few of those. And then this one's a really, really great one for traveling because it's got little airplanes in the background. Um, but you can use it for anything. It's also a custom page. I like the configuration of all the little boxes. So, you know, this is one of the things where I would probably make a, a packing list here for my suitcase and then my itinerary and then probably my flight details, etc. So I really needed this one because this year I'm traveling a lot teaching. Um, so kind of geared that one towards what, what I needed for myself. And then in the back of my planner, I just, you know, I did a dashboard and I've got stickers that I punched and put in there. 
um, starting to really like using stickers. So, um, yeah, so that is the Posh Planner. I'm going to be adding um, daily printables for this one as well. I'm kind of going to mix it up between Posh and junk, um, the Junk Gypsy Planner this month. So keep checking back daily because there's always something new on there. I know this week, starting today through Tuesday, I'll be in Anaheim at CHA releasing our new products for scrapbooking and crafts and the planners. Um, so I probably won't be posting daily this weekend. I might, I'm not sure. I pre-made some stuff, so maybe I can post them while I'm away, but I'm not promising anything. But I will make up for it next week. I'll do a freebie page and a bunch of new printables that you can get on the website. So leave a comment, let me know what you think. Also leave a comment with any questions that you might have because I'm working on a and a video where I'm gonna answer a bunch of questions about printing and all that good stuff. And also um, tell me what you want. Tell me what kind of pages you need in your planner and I'll see what I can do. Um, but one thing I did wanna give you a quick tip on is on the pages you'll notice there's a border around every page. That's to be cut off. That is just to show you where you're gonna be cutting your pages to make them a true A5. Um, and then also you always wanna print these actual size on your printers. So um, don't scale to fit or any of that stuff because it's just gonna to be too big. Unless you want a really big planner, like an eight and a half by 11 or eight by 10 planner, then you could do um, you know, a scale to fit. But always print actual size. Um, and uh, I get a lot of questions about what printer I use. And the printer that I use gets me thousands of full color prints before I need to change toner. And it is a laser printer. It's called a CP, um, 1525NW and it's by HP and it's a it's a pretty old printer. I've had it for a while but it's awesome and they have newer versions now and I think they're all under $300. Um, I think they're more like in the $150, $200 range but and the toner is really expensive. You get you have to change out four different toner cartridges but you can change them out separately so if yellow reds out you only have to replace yellow and I think they're about $70 something a piece. But, like I said, it's a really great investment because I get thousands of prints before I have to switch out my toner. Um, also, if you do end up getting that printer, when it says it's running out or the toner is low or empty, it's not. It'll You'll get hundreds of more prints before the toner's out. I don't know why it does this, but um, that's just one thing I learned in my printer. So when it says it's low, I just keep printing and I end up getting hundreds of more prints before it starts looking funky. Um, so keep that in mind too if you end up getting that printer. And if you do... Uh, leave a comment and let me know what you think and how much you like it because I'm sure you guys are going to love it. Um, I don't think you can get that model, but you can get the newer ones and I'm sure they're just as good. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I will be posting updates from CHA this weekend, um, showing you our booth and our new products that are releasing. And on Wednesday, I will be back at it with the printables and the planner, hopefully. Um, and like I said, I will get you guys a freebie since I'm not going to be posting any um, pages this weekend. So... Stay tuned for that and keep checking back on the site. The link to everything is right down there in the description. And once again, thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys later.